Microsoft Dynamics 365. You might have heard about it, but what are they? What is it, right? So in this video, we're going to address exactly that question and we're going to cover at the high level and explain what is part of Dynamics 365, what are the features, how you can use it within your organization and take advantage of them. I'll also cover how Dynamics 365 integrate with other applications like the Power Platform, Microsoft 365, Azure. And finally, I'll also show you how you can get started by using Dynamics 365. So Dynamics 365 are a set of business applications that have pre-built capabilities to cover specific scenarios and processes. Some of these include sales, customer service, or finance, and many more. I have added a link actually to the Microsoft website where you can see the full list of applications currently available. So if you take a look at the sales app, the app lets you, you know, catch up on sales activities, right? So you can quickly find what are the latest activities you as a sales representative need to action. You can also qualify opportunity from leads to account, contact and opportunity and manage effectively opportunities. You can track the progress of your sales activities. And you can, for example, also forecast sales, right? So if we now take a look at the customer service app, the customer service app effectively provide a set of features to manage case, knowledge article, to effectively help you resolve issues and problem raised by your clients. So as we said, Dynamics 3 Far really help your organization address specific scenarios. So you can think of customer experience where you have the sales, customers inside, marketing, journeys, then your service kind of processes where you have your customer service, you have your contact center, you have your field service where you can dispatch agents to help your clients. You have your supply chain with supply chain management, guides, commerce, and a big one, finance. So the whole finance uh, operations, project operations to manage project, human resources. And Microsoft also have a dedicated offering for small and medium businesses, which is called Business Central, so Dynamics Business Central, where it's effectively one application covering multiple of these processes together in one app, so sales, customer service, finance, all combined within one app. So most organizations will probably want to make changes to those Dynamics 3x5 apps or extend them with additional capabilities. So this is where the Power Platform can be used. So the Power Platform is the no-code, low-code platform where you can effectively build custom application processes, visuals, and so forth. So as part of the Power Platform, right, you have Power Apps, which let you build application development. So this is typically where you can enhance the UI of some of the Dynamics 3 5 apps. You can customize the, the layout. You can build additional smaller apps kind of on the periphery or on the side of your Dynamics 3 5 apps. You can also use Power BI to analyze data within your Dynamics 3 5 apps. You can use Power Automate for process automation. You can use Power Pages to extend some of your Dynamics 3 5 apps to external facing website or external facing users. And then you can also use Copilot Studio to build AI powered copilots that natively integrate with your Dynamics 3 5 apps. So complementing Microsoft business applications are of course the Microsoft 365 suite of products. So you can think of Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so forth, right? So they integrate natively. So for example, from Dynamics 365 or Power Apps, you can integrate with your email, sending out, receiving email, tracking them in those apps, syncing appointments. Word and Excel, you can export, of course, data in Excel templates, in Word templates with nicely formatted, you know, documents that you can then convert to PDF and so forth. SharePoint and Teams, right? So this is collaboration. Again, you can store and integrate your documents in SharePoint. You can have your apps directly visible in Teams. You can have your team messages within Power Apps or within Dynamics 3 Apps. So there is a lot of native capabilities and integration between these. Copilot, of course, all the way. So Microsoft 365 Copilot can leverage data stored in your Power Apps, in uh, you know your Dataverse tables. There is a lot of Copilot components as well in Power Apps and Dynamics 365 to summarize contents of uh, you know records to help you pre-fill some forms and so forth. So there's a lot going on there with your Copilot and AI. 
And finally, you can extend Microsoft Business Application with Azure services, right? So you can think of identity and access management. So uh, your all your identities and access management to those specific apps are stored in Azure. You can extend that to leverage external identity as well. Additional AR services, data analytics, custom development, integration, Internet of Things, any services stored and, and available in Azure can be leveraged to extend your Microsoft business applications. So how to get started to use Dynamics 365? So look, the easiest way is to navigate to the official Dynamics 365 website. And then once you land on the website, you will have an option to try for free which effectively will let you choose which app you would like to try. So um, bear in mind, not every single app is available for a free trial. For example, Dynamics 365 Finance, you has to have to request a, a demo first. But for example, most of them have a try for free uh, available option. So if I want to try for free, for example, Dynamics 365 Business Central, I'm taken to a sign up page where you can sign up with my account. And after a few seconds, I'll have access to a demo trial environment of the application I choose, in this case, Dynamics Business Central. And they nicely configured with some data as well for you to be able to play with the system, experiment, and effectively learn on the go and see um, the added value that the application can provide to your organization. Voilà, I hope that you like this video. And if that's the case, give me a thumbs up and don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing more videos like this one about overviews of technologies in Microsoft and so forth. So see you in the next one. Bye.